Seven reasons why CNC machining is totally awesome. Welcome back to Star Rapid and today we're going to talk about why CNC machining is just bloody awesome. And don't forget, we're the people who do serious engineering for serious engineers. Serious engineering. Some of you may have realized already that I have an enormous amount of passion for CNC machining. I bought my first CNC machine in 1991 when I was just 26 years of age. I bought it for around £50,000, which would have been around 75000 bucks back then. It was a green Maho MH600E. Maho is now known as DMG Mori. A few years ago, I was in a workshop in an old barn in Mönchengladbach and I saw the identical model still in use. Ah, the memories. The Maho MH600E was a horizontal with a vertical head attached. It was an amazing all-round machine for its time. It had a blistering 2000 RPM spindle speed and a supersonic one meter per minute feed rate at cut. Well, I guess by today's standard, that's like comparing a Model T Ford to a Ferrari of today. Spindle speeds are rarely less than 10,000 RPM today and often as high as 30,000 RPM. You can also get speeders, which are little secondary spindles that you can tool change into the main spindle and they go up to around 80,000 RPM. Typical feed rates nowadays are from around 20 meters a minute up to and around 60 meters a minute. So what are the seven things that make CNC machining totally bloody awesome and very useful from the perspective of the customer? One, quick start. For very low quantities, it's very common that we CNC machine parts from solid rectangular or round billets. Most of these materials are available off the shelf within hours or days of the order being received. It usually takes hours or a few days to program a part on the CAD CAM computer. In our case, we use Autodesk power mill. So by the time we've planned, prepped the tools, programmed and verified the cutter pass, the material has arrived and away we go. So it's fairly quick start. Two, minimal fixturing. Most billets can go straight into a vise on a mill or a chuck on a lathe and again away we go. We can even use soft jaws on vices and chucks to grip very complex shapes that are made during the first operation so that we can turn the part over and hold the part for the second operation. Again, this only takes a few hours, so it's pretty quick to get underway. Very few parts need specialized fixturing unless you want to do larger quantity production and put dozens of parts on a machine at the same time. Three, 14,000 cutters. Now this one is not necessarily applicable to all CNC shops, but it is for us because we have a very specific supply chain problem uh, because we're based here in China. We have a computerized cutter vending system in-house from the German cutter manufacturer Göring with around 14,000 cutters available at a moment's notice. We also have a Göring storeman on site full time looking after the stock and providing us with advice on how best to use their tools. We also have a small cutter grinding supplier down the road and they have uh, three six-axis Walter cutter grinding machines and we can get any kind of uncoated special cutter within 24 hours. So again for us it's really not that uh, difficult to get going quickly. Four, thick sections. We also have a metal 3D printing machine on site and it's awesome but the time it takes to make a part is somewhat proportional to the volume of the material in the part. The heavier the part, the longer it takes. With CNC machining, it's almost the opposite. The less material you want to take off, the lower the cost. So, although we can make parts where up to 95% of the material is removed, and we can have very thin sections, as a general rule, CNC machining is great for leaving the material where it is. So, thick, chunky sections are no problem. Five. Change your mind on a dime. Another fantastic thing about CNC machining, and for that matter 3D printing, is that you can change your design anytime you like. We can stop and make changes to the CAD CAM program quite quickly and be back in production in a matter of a few minutes or hours. That's not so easy to do with die casting tools or investment casting tools or plastic injection mold tools. Six, 
high precision. CNC machining has got faster and faster over the years. Cycle times have collapsed compared to when I was starting out. But they've also become more and more precise. 5 microns is now very achievable with CNC milling, when 30 years ago that was only in the realms of grinding. Many companies now do hard milling and hard turning and hold the most breathtaking tolerances. Machines are so precise now that they have to be kept in 20 degrees centigrade temperature controlled rooms and the slides have thermal compensation and secondary glass scales for high precision feedback. 7. 5-axis wizardry and verification. The most amazing thing about CNC machining today is the degree to which 5-axis machining has developed. A few years ago I saw a number of companies machining an aluminium version of a basketball hoop and net at the IMTS show in Chicago. I was mesmerized by how the tool and the tool holder could machine all the way through one side of the net to the inside of the net on the other side. This can only be done by using 5-axis CNC machining. But more than that, you have to have the most amazing cam system, the most amazing verification software to ensure that you do not crash into the part or the machine. In that case, the programming was done on OpenMind's Hypermill and the machining on a Grope Horizontal. If that doesn't make the hairs on your neck stand up, I don't know what will. Why do I mention this anyway? Well, it's because these major steps forward in what is possible with CNC machining has unchained many designers and allowed them to think way outside the box. In a way, I personally think that CNC machining has advanced so much in parallel with metal 3D printing. It's no wonder that we're now starting to see so many amazing hybrid CNC and 3D printing machines. But that's for another video. Well, I hope you found that informative. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and leave your comments below. And don't forget, we're the people who do serious engineering for serious engineers. Serious engineering. Side effects include doing awesome designs for CNC machining will give you a euphoric sense of confidence in your own ability as an engineer. Your colleagues will think that you are the reincarnation of Iron Man and your products will undoubtedly be as robust as a tank. But always remember, it is as bad to over-engineer something as it is to under-engineer it. Five, four, three, two, one, go! You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off! My name is Michael Caine. Here we go. You are only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Any good? Does that sound like him? Uh.